Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Abner with a quick lesson on exporting your lower thirds from After Effects. So obviously these lower thirds have a transparent background. This isn't like a black video. Um, and you can bring your, you know, your interview footage or your clips into After Effects, but it's really more beneficial to export your lower third and bring that into whatever editing program you're using such as Final Cut Pro or uh, or uh, Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere, whatever iMovie, whatever you're using. So you can tell that this has a transparent background because when you click this toggle transparency grid, it changes to this transparency grid. So whenever you see this grid, it means that it's transparent, and that's a good thing. But if you export like regular, then it doesn't actually transport uh, export this as transparent it'll export it as black so what you have to do is when you're done editing your your titles you uh, go to the zero zero composition um, and then if you if you're using the that's if you're using the the product file I gave you if you've created your own uh, file just go to the the composition that contains all of your lower third uh, pre compositions Go up to composition, add to render queue. So this will add it to our render queue. Let me delete these old ones. All right. So the main thing you have to do is just click on this lossless. Under video output, you'll see channels. You want to do RGB plus alpha. Hit OK. You click this zero zero digital uh, dot movie to uh, name it and select where you want it to save so you can name it whatever you can name it I usually do v1 v2 v3 to uh, do different versions and then you just render out so the main thing is under this output module click there and then under channels do RGB plus alpha make sure that it's in QuickTime format and the depth is millions of colors so this will export it uh, after you click render and it will export it with a transparent background so that you can bring it into Adobe Premiere like I did here and you can see that I have this layer this uh, lower third layer on top of my video layer so I can get rid of that and add that just like that and you'll see that it's totally transparent and you can add it wherever you want um, on your videos that is a super great way to make lower thirds so I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Let's, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, have a great day. Bye, guys.